Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Beauty Prep. I originally had started recording this video earlier uh, this week, but then got caught up with a couple things. So here I am recording it again. So bear with me because it's not as clean and sleek the packaging anymore. But basically for today's episode, um, when I was shopping around a couple months ago for my Christmas gifts, I stumbled upon some holy grails and wow, pretty cool stuff um, while shopping. And one of them was this LA Colors Insta Beauty set. It is a six piece travel ready makeup set with a deluxe cosmetic bag. It includes face, eye, and lip makeup. It was only $10, so this is what it looks like. And this is the back. As you can see, it comes with a lip gloss, an eyeshadow, a mascara, a liner, and a blush and contour little kit. And as you can see, I already have my base put on. I will put up here on the screen what I have on. I already have primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. So let us get started. So like it says, it includes an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, mascara, a lip gloss, the blush contour, and the cosmetics bag. So here is the cosmetics bag. It is a holographic pink bag. It is super cute and pretty huge for only $10. This is what the inside looks. And like I said, packaging, the set, and the inside of the bag. As you can see, super cute. A plus already and then here is what it is in I tried to keep it back in the packaging you know to bring some stuff back in so everything looks pretty um, full size except the lip gloss but let us set everything down so we can go through so this is the LA colors insta look eyeshadow palette I guess the name is insta look this is what it looks like and it actually also comes with a little brush inside a well not brush um those little sponges from the 90s <laughs> so that is that next is the la colors 3d blush and contour and actually highlight wow so this is what it looks like so this is the highlight on top the contour on the bottom and the blush on this side and on the let's open it so you can see what it looks like we go from packaging pretty cute and then the back it gives you a little step-by-step -step, which I will definitely follow for the video up next is the LA colors these are all LA colors I don't know why I keep saying just LA colors um, they're automatic eyeliner uh, color no specific color like charcoal or anything yeah so I guess it's just black this is what it looks like and then oh oh it's like a pen oh it's a pencil it is a pencil that you twist up and down wow I have not seen these in a while up next is the creamy lip gloss it is again no name this is what it looks like um kind of nudish actually so it's not a clear gloss and then last but not least their Jamatai lash mascara this is what that looks like and let's see oh look at that glob okay that is mascara and that's the kind of bristles it has so let us get to started so we're gonna grab first I usually do the eyeshadows first and then I go to the rest of the face. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it how I usually do stuff. Uh, the one thing I didn't put on, which I'll put on now because I actually found it, which is 
eyeshadow primer. Grabbing the Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance Anti Crease Shadow Primer. Applying it to my ring finger. If it wants to, there we go. Come out. Applying it on my lids. Grabbing a handy dandy mirror and just smoothing it over my lids. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. I have a pair of sunglasses pulling my hair back because I'm too lazy to look for my headband. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do some good swatches on my arm because for some reason I suck at doing swatches. So we're gonna go from this color down. So the first is the glittery shade. Very nice and buttery. The next is the more champagne. Oh, there, there's three glitters. Let me not say it that way. The reddish one, then the cream one, which is on right there. Then we're gonna go, I told you I suck at suede. Ooh, that one is very glittery. And broke, not broke, but came out real quick. And then the brown. Okay, and then the Okay, there you go. These are all the swatches. Pretty good. And then this is how it's looking in pan now. So this is the one that broke pretty, like, fast, which kind of intrigued me. So I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe here and just wipe off this excess. Kind of sucks that I have those three glitter shades because I can't really do much with them, I think. But I'm gonna go and try something new. So let's go for it. Alright, so first I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This one I got from Bath. Ah! I'm dropping everything from Bath and Body Works. And I'm going to go into the brown shade first. And I'm going to put that all over my eyes. That's how it looks on brush. And it is light. Okay, which is fine. Next, I'm going to grab a smaller brush from e.l.f. They call it their eyeshadow brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go into the color that kind of broke apart on me just so that I can try and see if I can salvage that. Oh, it just keeps breaking up. Interesting. I'm going to go... A little crazy. I'm gonna put that here in the outer corner. Oh wow, that payoff though. What are you guys thinking so far? I'm actually digging it. I'm digging what I'm seeing. Okay. We're going to go into now the champagne color. Well, first we're gonna go into the light color with a e.l.f. smudge brush. It's a very thick, um, dense, hard brush, so it's for smudging. But I don't really want it to smudge, I just wanna create the effect Effect of a cut crease without actually cutting it. I'm gonna grab this my brush set brush and I'm gonna go into the light champagne color now. And put that towards the middle here. I'm gonna grab this. BH Cosmetics 105 brush. And I'm gonna dip into the last color and that's gonna go in my inner corners. I'm liking it so far. Okay, we're gonna go back into the brown color and we're just going to blend it in here in the little parts that it's kind of 
rough. We're just trying to smooth it in, make it a smooth transition. What do you think so far? I like it. Okay. So that is using all the colors in the Insta Look LA Colors palette. We're gonna go grab now their automatic eyeliner brush. I mean, eyeliner. Gonna do a nice little swatch. Huh. Very thin, like super thin, like black. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, like super thin. Let's do a bottom liner. Let's see in the bottom lip. I'm gonna put you down here as well. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. So we're going to do this where it's like just a little bit, no wing, not towards the inner corner, and then the bottom and waterline. Okay, so this is so far the look with the automatic eyeliner. Don't like that it says automatic because technically it's manual. But that's just me. Okay. Up next is the Dramati Lash Mascara. Yeah. Look at that. I'm gonna make sure to clean it off. So, I don't know if I should be happy, like, oh my god, I'm getting a lot of product, but upset that it's not saving that product, because that product should be in there. Okay. Oh, damn. Do you see that? That was one swipe. Right, let's see how we can salvage this. Oh, wow. Dermati indeed. Okay, let's switch to the other eye, see if we can get some of it off. Ah! <laughs> this is not good, guys. This is not. Do you see that? I don't think you can see it, but it is intense. Yeah, like really intense on them. Do you see what just came off from under my eye? Lord have mercy, my eye is turning black already, I think. Um, look at that. That is just under my eyelash. Okay, let's save in that last little bit. There we go. Another intense goop. Look at that. I just lost all that product. Not good. Look at that. Do you see my eye? Black. Okay, let's see if we can... See if I can salvage this a little bit. No, that is a lot of mascara. Gotta go super slow, and my eyelashes instantly feel heavier. Okay, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. What do we think? Not so good. Baba. So this is the eyes so far. Very dramatic lashes indeed. It reminds me of Twiggy, the era of Twiggy, the big doe eye lashes. Now for those who might be freaking out, I know that some makeup brush that come with like a, spe a separate spoolie. I don't have one, so we're gonna stick with this. Okay. Up next, we're going to do the 3D blush contour and highlight, and we're going to follow the steps that it tells me here. So, first things first, we're gonna apply the contour shade to the hollow of the cheek below the cheekbone. Grabbing this e.l.f. contouring brush, and let's grab that contour shade, it says, below the cheekbone. Let's do the face. 
Barely a convoy. Alright, that's all they say. Only the cheap. Well, my earlobes are up here. So I'm not a big fan of contouring. I don't mind when people do it on me because they're good at it, but I'm not good at it. Okay, so I have created a three and we're going to blend it out now. <sighs> don't come at me, I'm not that good. All right, next is the blush. Let's apply blush to the apples of the cheek and blame seamlessly for a sculptured look. Okay, so we're gonna grab this blush brush from my brush set and dip into that blush. A lot of fallout. Apples of the cheek. You see this blush I like. This is the kind of blush I was before. I wish I had a little bit more tint to it, but that's okay. Then last but not least, apply highlighter above the cheekbone. I'm going to grab this flawless concealer brush from e.l.f. This is the one they think you should use for concealer, but I really like it for highlighter. I'm gonna grab the highlight color. It's okay. Oh yeah. All right. And that is done using the 3D blush contour part. And last but not least is the cream lip gloss. Basically, the color of my lips. Has a little bit of a tint to it, but not too much. This Photo Focus um, Finishing Matte Spray, Setting Spray. What is happening? Shake a little, see if that does anything. concealer brush to just finish blending out the parts that didn't fully spray. All right, loves, I'm gonna go fix my hair and I'll be right back. Alrighty, loves, and that is the finished look. What do you think? And that is everything from the LA Colors Travel Six Piece Set. Um, my overall thoughts on this is this is amazing. For being $10, you technically get, I think I counted it before, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Technically seven makeup products and the bag, which makes it eight. They claim it's six because they uh, tripled into the blush contour and the highlight in one, um, in one little kit. Um, but it is true, this is an Insta Beauty. This is definitely, you can pop it in your bag. This is a huge ass bag, but uh, pop it in your bag and be ready to go. My only complaints are the mascara and the liner. Um, mostly I didn't like how the mascara was like almost a nightmare to work with um, it is dramatic very dramatic um, I just got to see how I can maybe clean the wand so it doesn't have so much product in it or just have the excess the extra spoolie to finish brushing it through and then like I said before I'm more interested in the liquid liners they've been so much easier to work with for me personally uh, Let's see how much product this has, actually. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. 
there we go so it's not a bad amount of product it's very thin very skinny it has a nice little tip to it so it does work for those last minute things I'll probably will always use it as a waterline and under eye liner not the top liner the things I did like were the uh, lip gloss. You can't really screw that up. That was pretty good and easy. No smell to it. Uh, the eyeshadows, it worked fine for being an eyeshadow. The color scheme itself, I don't think it's very practical for every day, but it does say Insta Beauty, so I feel like they're trying to go for more of a... And the dramatic uh, mascara, so it's like they're trying to go for more... You need a quick glam look for the night so that's why i think with those colors uh the glitters is what you got and then the contour was all right it's not really my shade i would probably use it more as a shadow than actual contour the highlight was fine nothing too wow about it did nothing too bland about it and same with the blush i feel like it's kind of non-existent on my skin tone per se um and that's the other thing is this poc friendly 50-50. More like, what would you say? 60-40. 60 not so much, 40%. Eh, it could work, you know? How, um, just that's my personal opinion. But anyway, um, have you guys heard of these LA Color sets? Because there were more that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy and try. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've heard of it, if you tried it, and what do you think of this video? Are there any other, or what did you think of this bag set? Are there any other go-to little cute sets that you guys want me to check out? Let me know about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this look, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the lovely subscribe button and join the garden where we can all shine. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye! Don't forget, I have a giveaway. The link is in the description below.